So, hi everyone, uh, my name is Nun Teixeira and uh, so now we may take a look at the mode shapes for our building. I'm going to place the little bird house over here and I'm going to results, diagram for bars, deformation. We don't want the exact deformation for bars, we want approximation, we are going to see the mode shapes. I want this one over here, I'm going to press the normalize button, okay. Uh, this is an envelope, I don't want this also, I want it for the model analysis. And you have the mode number one, which is a translational uh, mode shape, okay. And you have mode number two, which is in the other direction, also translational. Mode number three, which is a torsional mode, as you may see. It's pretty clear that it is a torsional mode. So you may check your modes of vibration in this way. Okay. Next, we will look at the loading generating for seismic case by starting with the calculation notes. Okay. From the analysis menu, choose analysis, calculation notes, and uh, we will ask for a full note. And uh, here you've got the full note regarding the calculation of uh, the loads. You've got also the structure description, the calculation summary, and uh, you've got the seismic load cases also. You've got your fundamental period over here, and uh, also the effect seismic weight used and the shear force found. And uh, as Ken says here, you should be able to do some quick verification of the values calculation here, okay? that the shear force, the effects is seism seismic weight and the, also the fundamental period are not just wrong, okay? You should always check your model, you should always check the results that you have in your model, okay? I'm going to close this. Now, we will take a look at the reduced forces for the building apply as, as a result of the seismic cases, okay? So, if uh, we didn't define any stories, you wouldn't be able to do this. I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to results. And I'm hitting diagram for buildings over here, okay? And now I want to see the forces here on our structure. I'm going to ask for the Fx force over here, reduced force in G, G being the center of gravity of each story. Okay, I'm going to apply that. Now I select this load case. I want the definite description of coordinates. And you've got the coordinates over here of your center of gravity. Also, you have the center of rigidity. Okay, I'm also turning the panels off. This is quite cool, I guess. Uh, center of gravity of a floor slab. If you didn't find, if you didn't define the stories, you we're not able to do this and here you may see the forces that is being applied. I want a description. Okay, apply and there you go. I'm also turning off this. I'm applying 11.58 and 2.42 over here. As you may see, you may also check the other directions, okay, this is really cool, I think. So, in the next video, we will talk about load combinations and calculations, okay? So, thank you for watching and uh, please subscribe. If you like this video, please give it a like. Uh, it will help me very much. Once again, thank you very much.